National Wasp World War II Museum in Sweetwater. It commemorates women Air Force service pilots that flew in World War II. The State Board of Education is looking to remove that part of history from state lesson plans. KRBC's Kelsey Pittman spoke with the Wasp Museum and students about this potential change in education. 1943 to 1977. It took more than three decades for the women Air Force service pilots to be recognized for their efforts in World War II. These women were actually then considered veterans. They didn't have GI bills, didn't have veteran benefits, didn't have VA health care. They lived their lives after doing this great service to our country. Now, 21 years later, the State Board of Education is looking at removing the WASP from their standards. For a group that was not represented in our history books for so long, to now be removed once again would be a huge mistake on the part of our education system to not recognize this group of people. Students in Sweetwater who grew up learning about these pilots say they love what the women stood for. Taking it away would just take away like the minority perspective from the history books. I mean, um, Without this, I feel like women will feel kind of neglected, I guess. Like, we don't have anything to look forward to, like, in history. Like, it's all, it's predominantly male perspective. And so I feel like with this, it'll empower women to do more. The board says the teachers are not currently required to teach about the WASPs, but they are listed as an example of good citizenship. Patriotism, integrity, service. That is the definition of civic duty and responsibility. That is what these women live by. It was their mantra and is what we, we live by today. While the final decision has not been made, the board releasing a statement saying, based on recommendations of the advisory groups, the board, on a preliminary vote, did agree to cut references to this organization. In Sweetwater, Kelsey Pittman, KRBC, Abilene's Local News. Kelsey, thank you. The final vote on the standards will happen during the board's meetings in mid-November.